Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about um, exporting images. You might need to export images on Earth Engine because you might be interested to uh, do some analysis in other softwares um, outside of Earth Engine, um, such as QGIS, NV, ArcGIS, and what have you. So in this lecture, we'll uh, use you know some JavaScript example. Um, codes and um, we'll do some you know demonstration on exporting uh, imagery on our engine let's first load uh, an imagery uh, for this exercise I will use a Landsat uh, satellite image um, specifically Landsat 8 I'll name it Landsat 8 and import uh, an image by calling ee.image um, and um, give the image ID um, and I'll uh, specifically select um, three bands. In this case, you might um, want to um, select all the bands uh, or just um, select you know, some specific bands depending on your interest and your, anal your analysis. And let's visualize um, this image that we imported. So I'll define a visualization parameter, these parameters, and then define the bands that I um, would like to uh, visualize uh, similar to um, what I selected here. I selected a band four and uh, four, three and two, and I'll use the, the same bands, band four, three and two for my visualization. And I'll define a maximum uh, reflectance value of 0.3 um, and display the map using map.addLayer, um, a function that helps us to display um, uh, an image or uh, a feature on Earth Engine. And uh, call uh, my uh, image here, um, given a name Landsat 8, I'll uh, call the same um, image and um, Add my visualization parameter, this parameters, which is defined here. And uh, finally, uh, name the, the display layer as Landsat um, 8 image. Let's uh, run the script and see uh, what comes up on the display. Here we go. So the image that I have um, selected uh, looks like this. Um, it's a pretty um, clear image, a Landsat um, 8 image, which is taken on a clear a sky or um, um, a non-cloudy or non-rainy day. Um, so as you can see, we can clearly um, see the image and identify objects. Um, so the next analysis would be to um, create a subset uh, region. Uh, I'll create a rectangle and export um, the image, that subset image on Earth Engine. So let's create a region to subset some part of the, the image, the Landsat image. So I'll create a region, um, I'll create a rectangle using a geometry the rectangle algorithm. And uh, I need to provide um, the four corners of the rectangle, which I already provided here. and um, display the region, the, the, the new region that I created here and with a default uh, vi visualization parameter and I'll name it region and let me change the zoom um, and map as a dot center object will adjust the zoom. If I run that, the newly created a rectangle over uh, this image will show up as you can see here. So this is the new rectangle that I created, which I will use uh, later to subset the image and then export. Okay, so the next step is to export the image to a, uh, our Google Drive. So this um, algorithm will uh, export this image, a subset image, uh, will export it to Google Drive by defining export.image.toDrive is export to Google Drive. And it define the different um, uh, parameters here. Um, I'll define the, I'll input the image that I need to export. Here is the Landsat 8 um, already defined here and provide some description about the, you know, the image so that you will 
uh, differentiate uh, when you look at it later. And the spatial um, scale is uh, 30 meter. And the region, I'll define a region. The, I'll provide this uh, rectangle that I have already created. And if I run that, um, I will see. Um, so if you export an image, um, this is um, where you look at the tasks. That's where you'll have uh, the run button to, uh, if you click the run button, then it will export to your, your drive. So this is exactly the, the name that I um, have given the, uh, the export, the subsetted export data. So image to drive Landsat, if I click that, it will provide me a window. I'll just um, keep it as it is. And now it's running. So my export is running. So once this is complete, it will uh, have a check mark and then I'll have um, access to that image on my Google Drive. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing is to export the um, image to a cloud. So um, a cloud, um, if you have a, an account on a cloud, um, a Google Cloud, then you can um, export the image using this uh, algorithm. Uh, Export.image.2 um, uh, cloud storage would provide would export the image to your cloud account, and I'll provide you know the same parameters uh, like before. But the only um, difference is that um, uh, you need to provide your bucket on Google Cloud. So in this case, I just simply um, defined test. You might um, create different buckets in your Google uh, Cloud account. Um, and other than that, um, the, the parameters um, are the same with the one that we um, exported to drive. So in the, if you click um, you know, this, then it will um, give you an export option on the tasks. Then uh, this is the, the latest version that we wanna export to cloud. It says image to cloud Landsat, um, image to cloud Landsat. Okay, this is the name. Um, that you provided. If I click that, it will, you know, uh, I'll just keep the, the parameters the same. Uh, running here. So once it's complete, it will you'll have access to that data on your cloud. The last one is exporting to a, um, assets. So if you look at on the Earth Engine, you have options here like assets. So it will export it um, to your assets. Um, uh, instead of a cloud or a Google Drive. So to export image to asset, you have to define a, an algorithm export.image.2 uh, asset. So that's how you export an image to your um, um, asset, Google, uh, Google Earth Engine asset uh, uh, platform. And here you you would define you you have to provide the image input the same, uh, and then um, rename the output name a little bit differently to um, indicate you're exporting to to asset. So, and asset ID you can define this. Um, you can provide that, and also a scale uh, 30 meter for this data and provide a region and a pyramid. Um, you know pyramiding policy. You can keep this as a default, or just um, a, a, you know change the pyramiding policy if you want. You can customize it, and if I run this, it will give me an option to export to uh, assets. So every time you run, it will just uh, give you option to because I'm running all the exports now, so it will um, give me an option to run all of them. So. This is um, image to drive, image to cloud, and image to asset. So if I run all of them, then they'll export to each of the, the different uh, platforms to the drive, cloud, and asset account.